Well, hey everybody, welcome, welcome. This is Tabitha Jane, and this is a reading for Pisces for November 4th. We are going to take a look at the overall energy, um, calling in ancestors, guides, guardians, angels, source, spirit, higher self. Um, whatever, you know, God, whatever power you believe in, um, messages though for your greater good for November 4th. Now this is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. It may resonate, it may not resonate. You might also want to check your other um, signs, your moon, Venus, rising, and see if one of those readings maybe resonate more. If this one doesn't, bits and pieces, take what resonates and release and let go of what doesn't. Messages for Pisces, please. Pisces, Pisces greatest good. What does Pisces, what would you like Pisces to know, please? Messages, please, for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you. Elk nobility. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Very nice, Pisces. Very nice. Very positive. Very supporting start to this energy rating for you. Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Alrighty then. What do we get? Fork in the road. All that glitters. Okay, Pisces. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limited, or limitless. Fork in the road, all that glitters. All right, Pisces. I feel like your ancestors, guides, guarding the divine. Okay, the divine. Let's just leave it that way. Are asking you to celebrate your accomplishments with humility. But it's kind of like there's a fork in the road in the middle here. You can be um, humble or chase what glitters. You are already crowned with success and powerful forces guide you. But we do have free will. And sometimes free will, our ego the things we were told as a child of what our life should look like or how we should be or how we should behave how we should act definitely can cloud our judgment and we start chasing all that glitters i've heard people jokingly call it squirrel brain you know, you see something shiny, shiny object syndrome. There you go, chasing this. And then before you know it, it's off on the next shiny object syndrome, chasing that, which can detract from the guidance that's calling you towards a more sustainable success. That makes some sense. Messages, please. Can we please get some messages for Pisces? Ancestors, guardians, angels, guides, divine source, spirit, higher self. Messages for Pisces, please. November 4th. What would you like Pisces to know, please? What would you like Pisces to know, please? Messages for Pisces, please. Yeah. 
We have the Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands. Very nice. Justice. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. All right, Pisces. New messages and insights from the divine are trying to come through. And I feel like you're wanting and ready to receive. But there's still some distraction, you know, that fork in the road type thing, right? We got the three ones, we got the two on the one side, the one on the other side. Focus is on the birds, we're at the edge of a cliff. It, it's like, okay, yeah, I want, I want, but we're still kind of holding on to this one wand back here, the all that glitters, the, the you know, a shiny object syndrome, the past programming. Yeah, I want the freedom and I want the future and I want to, I want to go forward, but I'm afraid to let go. And I feel like that's what that fork in the road is. And you're being called out with the shiny object syndrome. And that's justice. Justice within yourself. What's true to you? Where do you find balance? Where do you find... The divine wisdom calling you. What direction does that look like? Because here we've got the nine of pentacles doing the work, a lot of hard work, but alone, a little bit beat up, fork in the road, stable, independent but pretty beat up for it. And then we've got the Queen of Swords coming in with crystal clear clarity. Strong, independent, ready to do battle on the outside, but inside soft and warm and compassionate. integrating, encompassing the desires through the divine. Because the divine is trying to bring that to, to you. And it's you, those of you clinging to the past beliefs, not releasing and letting go not trusting and believing, not moving forward, not seeing justice for yourself. I don't know. The, to me, in this deck, this Nine of Pentacles, she looks bedraggled. She or bedraggled. She looks um, beat up. She looks exhausted, drained. You know, she. She's not the nine of pentacles of abundance and prosperity. She's behind a brick wall or rock wall alone, frazzled, exhausted looking. And it's just time to step into the clarity and the wisdom of the situation and take a deep hard look and see the truth for yourself. Where are you in all of this? What's true for you? What does your heart call out for you to do? Fork in the road. Which path matters to you? Which journey? Shiny object syndrome. And I really do feel like that's what this is. Is a shiny object syndrome or listening to the higher power, 
Who's actually going to guide you? The powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. You are crowned with success. Trust and believe. Which path will you choose? Which fork in the road will you transverse? Messages, please. Final messages for Pisces. Ancestors, guides, guardians, angels. Messages for Pisces, please. What would you like Pisces to know? What would you like Pisces to know, please? Thank you. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Any other messages? Any other messages for Pisces, please? I thought I saw something flip. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest, manifest physically. Maybe some of you are feeling, well, yeah, the, out in the cold, alone, beat up, bed raggled. Your soulmate is with you. Any other messages, please, for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? All right. I think something else flipped. Let's see. Last one, Pisces. Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. All right. Well, there's some different messages for those of you watching. I hope you found this helpful, insightful, um, beneficial in some small way. I'd love to hear your feedback, your comments. What are your thoughts? Did you enjoy this reading? Shall I continue to do these on a daily? Um, I'm just kind of curious. If you've enjoyed it, please consider giving a like. I definitely would love to hear comments. And did you find whether this resonated? Was it meaningful, helpful in some way? And if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really does help me to expand and grow and reach other people if I offer value worthy of expansion. But irregardless, I want you to know I appreciate you. I'm thankful and grateful. I hope you have an amazing day. And um, I really look forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback. All right, guys. Talk to you on the next one. Bye.